Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope we're doing well. And today we've got, oh, we got some more rumors coming out over at Bounding Into Comics. This one is one that, if it is true, I'm actually going to be quite pissed off about. And that is that apparently Ewan McGregor is going to be set to return as Obi-Wan Kenobi in his own Disney Plus series. Now, some of you might be saying, but wait a minute. Aren't you excited that Ewan McGregor would return to the role? Aren't you excited to get an Obi-Wan uh, centered story? Yeah, absolutely. But the fact that they're going to try and put this on the Disney Plus service, instead of making this a movie, when you've already had films like freaking Solo, A Star Wars Story that no one in their right minds wanted and didn't go see, and again, led to that film losing money, why in the hell would you take a property that a lot of people have been asking for a long time? Actual fans, hardcore fans that would go out day one, night one, to go see this film just to see Ewan McGregor play the role again. Why is it that you're now going to put it behind a paywall? on Disney Plus. Oh wait, that's right, because they are pretty much aware of the fact that their Disney Plus streaming service on opening day does not really have a whole lot to be excited for. There's still a lot of limitations as to what they can have. They've made recent dealings. I believe Comcast was the most recent one where now they've been, or, or it was a Comcast or Spectrum, where now they have access to other criteria or other films that they can put onto their collecting services. But opening day, you don't have a whole lot of movies in comparison to the wide, wide variety of movies and wide library that they should have access to, seeing they have, obviously, their own Disney films, they have the entire Fox franchise, they've got Marvel, they've got Star Wars, but there are certain films, there are certain franchises that they can't touch for a little bit because of their deals with Netflix and also with other broadcast stations. So... All you have now is this, and again, for any of that Star Wars fans that are out there, now you have this, and it's like, okay, now we're going to try and entice you by finally giving you what you've been asking for for years. Ever since Ewan McGregor, uh, you know, was cast as this role and showed us how great he was in this role, and ever since even Revenge of the Sith came out back in, what, 2005, people have been clamoring, saying, man, I would love to see this guy's story continued on the big screen. Well, you might get it but it will happen on a smaller screen and you'll have to pay for Disney Plus to get it. So let's go ahead and dive into this. A new rumor indicates this according to Cinelinks. So again, take this with a grain of salt. I've never heard of Cinelinks. However, I do trust Bounding in the Comics and I love that Bounding in the Comics always makes it very clear when something is a rumor versus when something is an actual news story. So according to Cinelinks, according to two separate sources, they have heard that Ewan McGregor has actually put pen to paper and inked a contract to return as the iconic Jedi Master. Now to me, this would make a lot of sense. And why would it make a lot of sense? Because Disney knows, Bob Iger knows at this point in time that the Disney brand isn't all that it used to be. It isn't all hot and bothered. Now, some people can try and say, oh, we'll tell that to the billion dollar films that they have this year. Tell that to all the normies that are going to support it. When I say that, what I mean are hardcore fans. I would say that there's a crap ton of hardcore Marvel fans that are starting to get tired of the same type of film, you know, the, the same type of filmmaking process. You already see it with Star Wars. If you're going to try and argue that Star Wars fandom, that hardcore Star Wars fans are open arms with Disney in the directions they're going with the characters, I honestly think that there might be something, you know, damaged about you but with that being said they've already done so much damage to the star wars universe to the star wars lore that they need something like this they need to say boom you wanted it now you have it now you're gonna have some people they're gonna say hey too little too late all right we wanted this a long time ago instead you didn't listen to us instead you decided to go in your own direction making your own new characters you know and telling some really crappy stories and giving them terrible character arcs and you're still going to continue their story in some capacity or the other and you're continuing to make these stupid mistakes all for the sake of identity politics and so-called equality which is really just forced equality which isn't equality at all because if you're being forced to do something based on some so-called standard i don't really understand how that should be something that we should be applying in the first place but am i excited for this you're damn right i would love to see you mcgregor come back as this role i know that my girls behind me river and willow are also excited for this also so along with their report that mcgregor has signed to return to as obi-wan kenobi they speculate that an announcement about the series could be made at the upcoming d23 show and convention and that also makes a lot of sense because they need to have something big they have already got episode nine which yeah everyone was excited for it when the trailer first came out but since then have people really been talking about it all that much other than of course talking heads like me who are trying to talk about the news and are trying to you know kind of decipher between the crap and and and, uh, and what could be good what could 
could be bad and whether or not we should support these people in the first place since they've already betrayed us in so many ways and they're not going to learn their lesson they're not going to actually change until they go bankrupt or until at least a franchise stops making money I mean, again, I'm right there with you. An Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus show was rumored to be in development back in May, but details regarding the show were sparse before the rumor about the Disney Plus show began. Swirling there have been rumors that an Obi-Wan Kenobi film was in development. However, Ewan McGregor had denied any involvement in a possible film. Back in January 2018, Ewan McGregor stated, just that, there's a lot of talk, and I'd be happy to play Obi-Wan again, but there's no plan at the moment. So it looks like they changed their minds, probably because they said, you know what? We're looking back at those solo Star Wars story numbers. We're looking at the fact that the, hey, Sorry, my girls are very excited about this news. We're looking at the fact that Star Wars Episode Nine doesn't really have a whole lot of, you know, hype around it. You know, that's at least a positive type of hype around it. You have a lot of people like me talking about Cats the Musical. You have a lot of people like me talking about, hey, who's not going to see it? And based on my own community, there's a lot of people that are not going to support them anymore. So they thought to themselves probably, oh, we need to try and get some of those people back. And some people might be brought back by this. Some people might say, hey, this is a good direction. This is the direction that we wanted to go in. However... I think that we should definitely be overly cautious when it comes to this, not only because it's a rumor, but also because if it is indeed true and they're trying to bring us back, all we need to remind ourselves is, yeah, remember when they said Star Wars is coming back. We got The Force Awakens. Many of us were happy with it. Let's just be honest. Many people were happy with it. Many Star Wars fans were happy with it. They said, oh, it's a New Hope rehash, but you know what? At least it's Star Wars again. We can finally start to go into these universes. Then, of course, we got The Last Jedi. And then, of course, with the news I talked about just the other day about how the plan from the very beginning was to try and kill off the past, try and take away all of the original characters, probably because of some deals with George Lucas, but if not that, because they wanted to push new and diverse characters over actual well-written characters. I think that this just makes a lot of sense. This just feeds into everything going on. You have already one of their newer projects, Star Wars Resistance, being declared bunk. They've canceled that series because no one wanted to watch it because guess what? It's new Star Wars, and new Star Wars really isn't that profitable when you really come to think about it. Sure, you can look at the $2 billion of the first film. Sure, you can say $1.3 billion for The Last Jedi. But the reaction from The Last Jedi, the toy sales since The Last Jedi, the actual hardcore fandom numbers that we're looking at tell a much different story. The fact that Solo lost 200 million in the wake of the 1.3 billion dollar film of The Last Jedi and also the fact that in China alone they have been rejecting it openly and you kind of need China in order to have a giant film for the most part something tells me that they know and they recognize that they need to have a full you know, they need to add fuel to the fire they need a new spark maybe Obi-Wan Kenobi maybe having Ewan McGregor come back could be enough not only to drive subscription sales to their service, which they still need to do a lot more if they're really going to try and sell it the way they want to, which they have the potential to within the next five years when certain rights on certain properties are no longer there. But they also really need to start listening to the fans. And one of the ways that they can do that, if you really want to get fans back, hard fans back, if you want to get people like me, people like Jeremy, people like so many others who love Star Wars, and we love Star Wars, we love the worlds of Star Wars, we love the EU. We love the Clone Wars. We love the Rebels. You know, some people less so Rebels, but I personally love Rebels. I think there's a lot of really cool characters that came from that time. And yes, that was Disney run. But I, they of course, give more credit to Dave Filoni, who actually worked under George Lucas and actually had a creative experience because of that. But until we start to see a major shift, and the only major shift that I can possibly see is having Kathleen Kennedy taken out of that role as president because she cannot be in charge of the creative because she has no idea what the hell she's doing. Losing $200 million on a film alone should be more than enough proof of that. Until we start to see changes like that, this just becomes bait. This just becomes a way of them dangling the, oh, we really, you really want this. Yo, wait a minute, you're going to leave? Oh, but don't forget, we can do this. I don't think it's going to be long before they say, oh my gosh, guess what we're doing? We're releasing the original Star Wars films the way that they were originally meant to be seen on a special exclusive 4K edition release. I can totally see them doing that. Why? Because they're trying to get the new fans, rather trying to get the old fans back because new fans are <laughs> flying free in the air, have no allegiances, did not show up for Solo, won't show up for their future Solo projects that are not tied to the originals. And I would say even episode nine is in trouble of possibly not breaking a billion. If not, then not doing nearly as well as people might think. But anyway, what are y'all's thoughts about all this? Again, these are more rumors. I know that people are tired of rumors, but I do think it's one we're talking about because I love you, McGregor. 
I like him as an actor. I think that he does a lot of really great work. He's a lot talented. And also, I really love the character of Obi-Wan Kenobi, especially his portrayal of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I hope that this is true. However, I won't be excited about it. I won't be able to fully support this series until we have a couple things happen changing behind the scenes. But also, let's be honest for a second, this should be a movie. Screw whatever D&D are doing. Screw whatever those idiots that ruin Game of Thrones are doing. Screw whatever Ryan Johnson is still doing in his own little world. How about instead you find an awesome director and put them in charge of this? Because this would be a film that you could easily get yourself people easily get people behind. Not the crap that these idiots are going to be coming out with. But anyway, what are y'all's thoughts about this? Are you excited for Ewan McGregor to return? Do you think this is true? And also, do you think that this would be enough to bring you or others back to the Star Wars franchise? We'd love to hear thoughts about this and all the things we talked about in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, smash the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. It helps me a lot. Check out my affiliate links if you want to support the channel through Amazon. Check out my posters behind me. I got Alita Battle Angel and John Wick. You can get a 15% off coupon code down in the description of this video over at Displate.com. And also, of course, get an awesome metallic poster that hangs on your wall by freaking magnets, man. No holes necessary. Pretty easy installation. And I still got three giant posters that I need to put up. So very excited for that. And also, I want to give a huge shout out. I don't know who it was, but I know that Bruce sent me Stargate on Steelbook, but someone else sent me another Stargate Steelbook. So this is going to be something that's going to be given away very soon on the channel. And also, my Blu-rays came in today so I can finally start... Or rather, I can finally finish my project to get some Star Wars Despecialized Edition movies out to people that won on the giveaway the other day on the channel. So please, make sure you hit that like, hit that bell, so that way you know when we go live, because you never know when there's going to be a giveaway. You never know. I always try and do it whenever I can. And seriously, think about supporting the channel, because it's the only way that I can continue to do videos like this. And only ways that I can continue to give giveaways, which is something that I would love to continue to do for the channel on a regular basis. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And as always... God bless.